it's Manny time and I have a new video for you. I saw the tag personally on 11th Gorgeous and I loved it and it's the I Heart Drugstore makeup tag and I thought it'd be really fun to film as soon as I saw it. I was like I need to film that because it's a really really great tag. I'll also leave the questions down below if you guys want to film it. So yeah, let's get started. The products are beside me and the questions are on my phone so if I'm looking here and there, that's why. I'm going to try to make this video really quick so if I'm talking fast, that's why because I've realized a lot of my videos are super long and that's not okay. I mean, I talk a lot in real life and everyone always tells me that, but I don't think it's a good thing for YouTube. So yeah, let's just get started with the first question is... Hold on, just open it. Okay, yeah, the first question is, what is your favorite drugstore makeup brand? And this was really, really easy for me, and my answer is Maybelline. I love their eyeshadows, and they're super pigmented. I love them, and I also love their mascaras. So, yeah, that's why I love this me so that sucks. But yeah, that's my favorite makeup brand. I love their eyeshadows. I love their mascaras. The mascara that I even use for brow gel. It's perfect. If there's anything else that you guys want me to try from that brand, leave it down below and I will be sure to do that. Okay, the next question is... Oh, I got eyeshadow on my phone case. Ugh. What are your favorite face, cheek, and lip products? Okay, this is kind of easy for me and just get them face cheek and lip okay my favorite face product is by Rimmel and it's the MASH Perfection Skin Tone Adapting Concealer it's a 2-in-1 concealer and highlighter and I'm in the colors that are 40 soft beige I love this concealer it is amazing it has like a little brush it is so pretty for under the eyes it brightens it up it is it covers it's Really, really pretty. I bring it down all the way down here and it kind of gives me that Kim Kardashian glow. As you can tell, I've used up a lot of it. Currently, I'm using the MAC Studio Finish Concealer or whatever. And, ah, uh, it's okay, but I, I think I'm going to go repurchase this because I love it. And it also has, like, a little salmon-type undertone, so it works really pretty. Um, however, the one thing I don't like is they don't have a good color selection, so go and check it out. And if there's one that matches you, I would highly recommend it. It is a great, 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 great product. That's my favorite face product. Next is favorite cheek products. I have two. One is this Wet n Wild blush in Heather Silk. And I don't know where you can get these in Canada. I kind of got it at like some like weird store that wasn't like a makeup store. It was like a perfume liquidation type store where you get like cheap perfumes. And they had makeup there and they had this there and it was like $3.00. But it's the best $3 I've ever spent. It is so pretty. It's the color Icon Blush in Heather Silk. And everyone talks about it. And it is super pigmented and soft and amazing. So if you can get your hands on this, I would definitely recommend it. I don't have any other colors just because I don't know where I can find them. I see them at Superstore and Walmart. But they're always cracked or open or just they don't have a good color selection. Or they're really, really expensive. So... Yeah, I love, love, love this. My favorite, favorite cheap product. And the other one is um, this CoverGirl Bronze in the color... It's called Cheeker Bronzer. And it's in the color 104 Golden Tan. And it is the prettiest color ever. I don't usually use this for bronzer because it's too shimmery. But just as a blush, it just gives you the beaut like prettiest glow you've ever seen. And it has like gold shimmer in it as well it's so pretty this could even be used as an eyeshadow but yeah i love this chic product i use it a lot a lot a lot as you can see the writing has rubbed off i love this and it's pretty super pretty for a glow my favorite lip product is the revlon lip butter in 050 berry smoothie and i think that's it for that the next question is least favorite product okay least favorite is this this is the Almay Intense Eye Color Liquid Liner in the color purple amethyst amethyst I don't know how to say that word so what it looks like it's purple has a purple top I thought it'd be really really pretty like eyeliner liquid liner for the top just when you don't want to wear black it's too harsh or whatever 
but I hate this. It is super watery, not pigmented. Like, that's like okay. It looks okay on my hand as a swatch. Once you put it on your eye, the color does not show up. Even if you try going over it, it just erases the color at the bottom of it so you never get an opaque color and it's super watery and I don't even know what to do with it like look at that I hate this product so much so yeah hate that um the next is what is the best makeup bargain? I think the best makeup bargain I showed you guys these are the Wet n Wild blushes. Also, I've heard a ton of great things about their eyeshadows. I haven't tried them because, as you know, I can't really find them in Canada. Okay, a drugstore product that is overpriced. Okay, that's easy. And it is this Physician's Formula Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting powder powder bronzer I bought this because it was all the rave on YouTube like a year ago I hate it like I don't hate it like I'll still wear it because I paid for it I think it was 12 13 dollars here not worth the price at all like I said this bronzer from covergirl was like six dollars five dollars it's so much better um yeah so I'm not even impressed by it like I'll swatch it for you just like a pinky, bronzy color. I'm not even impressed by it. It's too shimmery, barely shows up on my skin. Like I have to use the really, really dark hearts. And the pink is just super sheer, doesn't show up. And yeah, I hate this thing and it's overpriced. And I think their whole line is overpriced. I haven't really tried anything else from um, Physician's Formula because it's way too overpriced and I don't feel like paying that much for... Um, a drugstore brand like some of their things are 15 16 dollars and I could just add like two three more dollars and get something from Mac in there so yeah just not overpriced not worth it this whole line just don't even know okay and the last question is um your, no, it's not the last question. Sorry, second like last question is show your breast. Show your breast. Really? No. Show your best drugstore dupes or dupe. I have two for you guys. The first one is this CoverGirl Single Eyeshadow in uh, Tapestry Taupe. This is a dupe for a satin taupe, and I don't own satin taupe, but I went to the store and swatched it, and I swatched this as well because I took it with me. Shh. But it is a dupe. Um, so I don't feel like the need to purchase it. I've hit pan on it. It's a great eyeshadow. I really like it. So if you're looking for a dupe for satin taupe or just a nice um, brown taupey color, I would definitely recommend this. And this is like $4. $4.99 maybe. So yeah, that's my first one. A second dupe. I don't hear a lot of people talking about it, but it's a dupe for the Rubenesque paint pot. And this is like my first paint pot that I ever bought from MAC. It's one of the, my first makeup purchases. Um, I used to wear it all the time, which is why I have pan on it. I don't really wear it anymore. It kind of dried out. I don't really like paint pots. They kind of, um, you know, don't blend very well with me. I, I much prefer the Maybelline color tattoos. So, yeah, it looks like I've used it a lot because I have, because it was like one of the first MAC things I ever purchased, and I just thought it was MAC, so I need to use it every day because I didn't have a wide makeup collection, makeup collection like I do now. So... Yeah, I'm going to just swatch that for you. It's really dry, so it's going to take me, like, a couple of swatches. That's basically what it looks like. Right there. And the dupe that I have found for it, it's not, like, exact, exact, like, to the tea dupe, but it's pretty close. It's close enough. Like, I would repurchase this because I like the color as opposed to the MAC Pink Pot because it's way too much money because it dries out, it's not that creamy, blah, 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 like I just mentioned. And it is the Rimmel You Rock eyeshadow and it's like a cream eyeshadow and it's in the color 700 zest so it looks like in the pan it doesn't come mixed up like this so if it looks weird when you first go to the store to see it it's okay just get it and mix it up and it'll look better because i don't remember what it looks like first when you don't mix it up and just wash that beside it it is a lot creamier like that's for sure so it looks like over there. It's a little bit more orange coral t coral tone, but there's definitely that gold in there, and it's definitely similar. And if you don't want 
the more orangey color instead of mixing it all up just get more of the gold on the corners and it's exactly like Rupinesque or close enough so yeah I think that's a great dupe and I don't hear a lot of people talking about this and I know Rupinesque is a loved loved product from MAC and a lot of people can't afford it I wouldn't repurchase it or a lot of people don't like paint pots or formulas so I would definitely recommend this and definitely go check out these and I got this like two three years ago so um, I'm sure they have new colors and stuff like that, but it's a great dupe and I love it. Okay, the last question is... Drexture product that isn't worth the hype. Okay, this is easy for me. And it is these Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Glosses. I hate them. Now before you comment and like, I love them, they work so great, but that's good for you. I'm sure the other normal colors in the normal collection work great as well. I just haven't tried them because again, they are really pricey and I got these on sale, so that's why I bought them. They're like $9.99 here and like wood tax is almost $12. And from what I've tried, I don't really want to shell out $12 because I don't like them. But I think I will try one of the normal colors in the normal line sooner or later. But these are from like the summer collection. A lot of people said they were limited edition and um, everyone loved them. And they were like the latest hype on YouTube. So I went out and got them and I hate them. Now don't get me wrong, you might see me using them because I have found uses for them because I paid for them so I'm going to use them. But I don't like them. They are, this color is 150 Peach Petal, um, I have the Coral one, 170 Coral Reef, the purple one in, I, I forget what it's called, because the sticker went off, but they only have like one purple one I think, so yeah, I think it's called like Lilac something, so this is a purple one, that's what it looks like, it is sticky, um, I don't like the, I can't wear it by itself because the color does not look good on me. It looks weird against my skin tone, plus it gets kind of patchy on me. Um, so yeah, I don't like this. I would not repurchase it. However, because I have it in my collection, I have found a use for it. I like wearing this over um, MAC um, Viva Glam Nikki. It looks good because it tones down the Nikki. So I like wearing this over pinks because it tones it down or whatever. But I will not wear this by itself. I will not wear this with another purple lipstick. I just don't like it, I will not repurchase it. Not worth the hype in my opinion. Next color, Coral Reef. Again, I have the same problem. It does not look good against my skin tone. Um, and I wear corals because I have a lot of coral lipsticks and other lip glosses that I like. My favorite is Buxom, Monica, and Athens. I love that combo. But yeah, this is just way too orange. Again, it's can't wear it by itself, and I've tried wearing it over other coral lipsticks. It's just way too overpowering, doesn't look good. I have not found a use for this, so this is just kind of sitting there, and I will not repurchase it. Not worth the hype. Hate this. Maybe it'll work on you if you're lighter, or maybe if, I don't know. I don't know, but I hate it. Will not repurchase. And the next one is Peach Petal. Again, same problem, can't wear it, does not work with my skin tone, it's way too milky. Um, again, when I try to put it on, even over lipsticks, it kind of like leaves spaces and gaps and it's sticky. So yeah, don't like it. Um, the use I found for it is I wear dark brown lipstick, kind of nudie, wear this over it works sometimes. It's again a hit or miss, so over nude lipsticks that work for my skin tone, it's kind of okay. But... Yeah, I don't like it. Not worth the hype. Will not purchase. Um, but yeah, let me know if I should try the normal Revlon uh, Super Luscious Lip Glosses and what color I should try. And yeah, I hope this video wasn't too long. I'm trying to make it as short as possible because I really wanted to give you guys my opinions and all of that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!